The crackdown by the income tax officials in poll bound Tamil Nadu has sparked a political war. Searches were conducted at DMK chief's son-in-law's residence for over 12 hours and at residences of three DMK netas late into the night. The official statement from the IT department said that raids were conducted in Chennai, Coimbatore and Karur on those suspected of tax evasion and money distribution ahead of the polls. Raids were carried out on suspected individuals involved in corporate businesses, ranging from running distilleries to real estate and also local financing. Sources tell Mirror now that some individuals raided are suspected to be close to the DMK leaders. This is the cheapest game played, always played by BJP against all opponents, either their critics or the op opposition political parties. They always do that. They misuse the power they hold in the centre. The cheapest game played by BJP. See, my hands are sweaty. clean hands, sir. You won't take single paisa anybody. See, one minute now. I won't take anything. See, already I'm well to do. See, I'm only declare my property. How much you can see in the paper? No, I declare it. It's an honest man. I won't take any single paisa from everybody. I only giving for everybody. See, for water problem, I gave four months. For day, one day, 160,000 liters for four months. Then on a rice bag, 60,000 60, bags for Corona time. I'm doing everything that I don't need. In fact, to give more details on this, I'm now being joined by a correspondent, Mogilan, uh, to, uh, who will basically uh, uh, give more details on this big story that we are tracking on Mirror now. So, Mogilan, uh, just ahead of polls, this big crackdown by the IT department, uh, that too, on DMK leaders, has uh, sparked a big political war with Stalin declaring that he is not at all scared, uh, despite IT department claiming that they have found some incriminating materials. Uh, definitely, yes. Yesterday, we saw the rides at DMK President MK Stalin's daughter uh, residence going for almost 12 hours. It started at 8 a.m. in the morning and it ended at 8 p.m. Uh, in the night yesterday. And after the seizure, we have seen that the IT department have only found 1.36 lakh rupees. And even for that, as they had proper documents that was returned to them. So uh, as, far, uh, as far as yesterday's rights are concerned, our DMK's president, uh, uh, President MK Stalin's doctor's resident is concerned, there is no reports of any seizures or documents or any materials. So now we are seeing DMK terming the entire IT rights at their residence, at their, at their leader's residence, as completely politically uh, motivated. And this is a diversionary tactics right ahead of the election. And they have also questioned the timing of the IT rights that were carried uh, carried against the uh, DMK leaders yesterday. So now DMK, as uh, the elections are nearing, now we are seeing DMK terming this as a political vendetta. And that is why BJP is using IT agencies in their favor. And yesterday, right, as soon as the rights started, we have also seen the election, uh, DMK rushing to the election commission and seeking a direction against the BJP from using the central agencies for their political benefits. So ahead of the elections, now we can definitely uh, uh, see that DMK will use the IT, IT uh, rights against their leaders in the, uh, in the upcoming assembly uh, elections, and they will term and play it as political vendetta. Mm -hmm. Right, Mogilan, thank you for sharing all those details. Amit Shah. During a road show in South 34 Parganas, Amit Shah took a dig at uh, the chief minister himself, herself and uh, said that Mamta is irritated as she is set to lose the polls. In the, uh, in the upcoming assembly uh, elections and they will term and play it as political vendetta. Mm -hmm. Right, Mogilan, thank you for sharing all those details. Regarding the allegations raised against the Election Commission, Home Minister Shah said that these are mere remarks by the losers.